Viewers, patrons, welcome back to the Kurt Winters YouTube channel where we talk about cars and trucks and all that implies. And Robert brought a really cool Chevy out. Tell us what we got here, Robert. We have one of a kind, no other truck like this. It's a 35C 454 big block. Um, it's a 1982 in the front, 3500, and then in the middle, we have a 1981 Suburban. In the rear, we have a 3500 rear dually with the hot tub. <laughs> and we had to go all out. You're going to do it right, you're going to do it right. Um, all new interior. Um, old fashioned, you know, the old school 3500 C's interior. Um, I mean, uh, it's only about 80% done, but the truck will make its own living and upgrades by renting it out. I'm going to make it a bar hopper right here in Trophy Club, South Lake, but pretty much no further than that, unless we're doing a bachelorette party or, you know, bachelor party, maybe, uh, some dances for the high school. Now, Robert brings up a good point because this interior is definitely not stock, and we've essentially got three vehicles that you put together here, right? Correct. So we got three vehicles. Let's go check out this interior because this is where the fun is. All right. All right, so heater works. It's got an AC unit in the back for comfortable for the uh, passengers. It's got a divider so we can actually drink in this limo um, and it's legal. So this divider goes up and down um, for the alcohol purposes. Um, all the bells and whistles. I have a fuel cell in the back that holds about 100 gallons. Um, there's no need for this switch. Maybe it'll be turbo later. <laughs> how, um, how many miles per gallon is she getting? Not a lot. It's a 454 big block and she drinks a lot of fuel. So maybe between 8 and 11 on a good day? Yeah, on a good day downhill. Right, with the wind at your back. She's, she's very heavy, but yeah. um, I can put um, at least 12 people in here with water in the back for the hot tub. I try not to drive with it, of course, but sometimes it's necessary. Just local. But it has airbags, so it'll sit on the frame. Um, and it has a release valve just left of your leg to set it on the ground. Okay, so it has its own compressor, so it'll air up the tank so I can pack it back up. How many compressors do you have? Just one big just one? one. Okay. And it takes a while to fill up, but um, I made it an easy access where I can just fill it up with a compressor. Very, very cool. Now we've got to go check out this limo setup in the back. And remember, this car is still a work in progress and I can't wait to see when it's done, but let's go check out where the real party starts. So, normally I have the ice chest underneath the seats so you can pull a drink and if you want, um, I sell drinks that are will be stationary right there. Normally they're the fifth, like, so, and everybody can drink. So, got the mirror, the, the lights, the interior. Next thing is the new sound system. The other one got stolen from me, which is quite all right. I got my truck back. You know, what I'm noticing is in a lot of limos, it's a pretty, ro it's a pretty low roof line. But even with me and my cowboy hat on, I don't feel claustrophobic. Right. I mean, there's plenty of room back here. And like you were saying, your your uh, your eventual plan is to turn it into a redneck party limo, right? Pretty much. Okay. Shagging wagon. A shagging wagon. Yes. Okay. It, it used to be called the cowboy coach, and I ran it for <laughs> um, even if you look at this mirror it has the cowboy coach logo. Okay. Now, where did you get these seats out of? Um, an old suburban. Okay. And then I got them out of the very back seat of the Suburban. And we redid all the interior. There's a few flaws, which, you know, leaks from the roof. 
sides. It's got a new roof and everything else put on it. New paint job. Um, but still need to put, you know, little by little together. And got new mics so you can tell the radio or me in the driver's seat. Um, because it will link up to my radio if y'all want to get something to eat, stop at a bar, go to any place so, you want. So the occupants can talk to you and never have to put the divider up or down. Correct. Total privacy Correct. the whole time in case a nipple slips out. Yeah. Um, so that's very, very cool. And yeah, it looks like what we could seat about eight back here. Um, I can fit 12 total. 12 total. And go ahead and give us... Uh, a promo for the shop that you run and uh, let the viewers know what you do for a living well um, I run a motorcycle shop it's called Wicked Intentions Motorcycle Designs I build bikes from ground up or do simple maintenance I don't turn a bike down I don't care if it's Chinese or a Harley Davidson where are you located and what's your phone number um, I'm in Trophy Club Texas and uh, my address is 2413 Lilyfield Drive uh, my phone number is um, 469-750-5185 and then I have a new number for my business which is active but I haven't switched over SIM cards yet for it but it's 817-676-1281 and what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below to Robert's business with the address and, and, any, and anything else you would need to contact him because it sounds like it's a pretty wild shop that you, that, you got going, that you got going over there. And we just started a new series on the channel called Pro Shops. We've already done two. So Robert might be our third pro shop to go over there and check out. Now, it's about 45 degrees out. Let's go hop in that hot tub. <laughs> Let's go. All right. So unfortunately, there's no water in the hot tub right now, which is okay. But... Tell us your plans for what, how you want to work out that hot tub. Well, uh, normally I go to like Texas Motor Speedway and I'm stationary. Um, I do want to put a self-leveling system underneath the truck, kind of like for RVs, um, like the uh, Bullfrog, where it's self-leveling and then it's stationary. The hot tub is going. Everybody kicks it. I have a blow-up, you know, uh, a uh, flamingo and a palm tree <laughs> and you know i posted up kind of like rednecks with paychecks so i love to go there it, it sounds like it's going to be a good time yes sir i can't wait to see when it's done now is is this paint scheme kind of what you want to stick with well or, i'm or... going off the jet stream blue off the z06 corvette okay um you i got, still need to put got uh, some more clear coats here i see yeah um and a little bit of overspray right now but clean up nicely yeah. after i'm done um, this was, you know, hurry up and get it done. Um, I had three days to accomplish this, and I stayed up until 5 o'clock in the morning almost every night and got up at 8 o'clock every morning to continue wet sanding and everything else. A man on a mission. Yes, sir. Very, very Dedication cool. Dedication for success. Yes. Yeah, I, I love it back here. I love the big... Now... This is dually, right? Correct. All right, so we're running a dually setup back here. Love your big fender flares coming out to accommodate that. You've got a real cool tucked in roll pan because I don't think you're going to be towing up a lot with this. No. Um, but I really, really like it. And what we want to see next is what's lurking under that hood. All right. Let's head that way. Chevy Love. Alright Robert, tell us what we got here. We got a 454 big block with an Eldebrock carburetor. I just purchased a uh, supercharger with a whiffle. Um, waiting on it to come in. I'm probably going to pull this motor out and get it all painted. And uh, new chrome. Probably put a, uh, a clear tube for the uh, radiator fluid so you can see it flowing. Um, I'm going to move around a bunch of stuff paint the inside now help me out do you want the supercharger because she's a little bit slow getting on and off the highway she is not slow at all as we speak okay so i just want the power i want the looks and the more reliability as opposed to the carburetor yeah what's that show uh with uh 
Tim, Taylor. There okay. you go. Oh, oh, More power. Oh, oh, oh. More yeah. power. Yeah, it's my, it's my baby. It's my toy. It's very, very cool. Um, when I saw you pulling in, he kept rolling by, and, and I didn't know when the truck was actually going to end, and, and we almost ran out of camera battery because the truck is so long. But, man, I really, really like it. Very, very cool. And like I said, I can't wait to see when it's done, and I can't wait to check out Robert's shop. All right, so Robert's been cool enough to show us his badass 1982 GMC 3500, which is actually three cars in one that he's skillfully put together. And again, we're going to follow this build, go over and check out his shop in a later video and see when it's all done. And, and thank you so much for taking the time thank you. to show us around your car. And I love unique builds. Anybody can build something shiny and perfect. But when you go off and you go in an oddball direction, and we are in Texas, we all have rednecks. This truck just fits in perfectly. And I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.